Hey everybody, how are you? Gibbo Ireland for Tito Murphy here. Hope you're doing well. You're very welcome to another quick fix video. And in today's video, well, there's a question that I see pop up every so often, and it's about how to install scenery. Uh, and it's actually a pretty good question because there's no one right answer. There's there's a number of different ways to do it, and that's really what this video is going to show. And um, for any experienced simmers out there that know all this stuff. Don't go anywhere, I have something for you at the end that you might be interested in. So, without further ado, let's jump straight in and take a look. So there's probably three main ways to be able to install scenery, and you can see them listed on screen here. This is probably in order of difficulty too, and the first is via the InSim Marketplace, the second is via an installer of some sort, and the third is by manually adding it. So we'll start with the first one, the InSim Marketplace. We'll jump over to the Sim, choose Marketplace. We'll go to Full Catalog, select all, change our category to, let's go for airports. And there's a ton of different sceneries here. Hundreds and hundreds to be exact. And what you'll notice is some are by Orbix, some are by Reg Design, some are by Roma Design, Stair Airport. Uh, the list kind of goes on uh, of all the developers that have products listed here in the marketplace. If you choose free, uh, again, we'll change your category to airports. Paderborn is listed there, and I'd highly recommend it. It's by Aerosoft, and it's a free download. It's about 3.8 gigs, however. And really, to install it, you just click on it, click on Content Manager, click on the airport, yeah, 3.8 gigs, and then where I have delete, it will be installed if you don't have it installed already. Uh, just in case you're curious as well, where that installs is uh, actually here. It's in the packages official one store folder. And you can see there it is listed very, very much at the top. Um, and uh, Aerosoft Paderborn. So that is very simple, how you go about installing via the InSim Marketplace. Couldn't be easier. That's tied to your account, so that will follow you if you uh, traverse across PC and Xbox as well. Okay, so we'll move on to the second method. So the second method to install scenery is via an installer of some sort. Uh, some developers, for example, Aerosoft, have particular uh, install wizards that will take you through installing that scenery on your system. And then there's others, like Orbix, for example, that have a tool that will do all the hard work for you. So I'm here in Orbix Direct, and I'm going to click on My Products. And you can see here are just some of the sceneries that I have. And you'll notice that Fairways Airport does not have a green tick beside it. I'm going to click that. And scroll down. It is 1.2 gigs. Okay. So I'll click Install. And it says, where would you like to install this product? Install directly into the simulator folder as it was, or install to a library located outside your simulator folder. It'll automatically link to your simulator. So I'm going to choose Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. You can see if I hover over, over it, it gives me the path. That's absolutely correct for me. But if you have the simulator installed on a different drive outside of your C drive, for example, you may actually wish to uh, to install it in your main library. So I'm going to click Microsoft Flight Simulator and here uh, the Orbix Direct tool does all the hard work for me in popping it into the right folder. Uh, one small point to note, uh, you will need the simulator not to be running as you're installing new scenery in order for it to work. Uh, it's never a good idea to install new scenery while the simulator is running. So if I move over to my community folder, uh, you can see there's Fairways Airport coming in thanks to Orbix Direct. We'll move on to method three, uh, which is manually adding. So the third way to install scenery is by manually adding it. And that's where the community folder comes into play. The community folder may differ in location based on where you've installed the sim, perhaps it's off your C drive, and how you've installed the sim. Was it via the Windows Store, was it via Steam, or was it via the boxed version? These paths I'll be sure to add to the description of this video, but to make 100% sure that your community folder location uh, is correct for your system, there's an easy way to do that. We'll jump into the same, we'll go to Options, we'll go to General Options, Developers, we'll turn Developer Mode on, hit Apply and Save. Now we've got this black bar at the top, we'll go to Tools, virtual file system and under packages folders we've got open community folder so if we click that that's where your community folder is located 
A handy little tip to do is where it says community here, if we click on packages, just the one before it, right click on community, go to send to, create shortcut for the desktop. Now on my desktop, I've got a handy little shortcut which will bring me straight to my community folder. So a common place to install and a popular place to install uh, sceneries from is flightsim.to. I like the look of Alicante Airport here. I'm going to go down and click download and I click start download. I have downloaded already. We're going to take a look. Here's the zip file and we're going to extract the zip file. Just while that's extracting, going back to my community folder for a moment, I'm just going to take a show you uh, one small quick hint here because when I click on any folder, I've got content. If I click on this, I've got content. So if I go back to my downloads where I've just downloaded Alicante Airport, a common mistake is this. If I click on this, which is the extracted version of the zip, I've got a folder. I don't have content. So if I click this, that's where my content is. So I need to copy this folder, not the previous one, because if I copy this, which contains a folder, not the content itself, then uh, it's not going to work. So this is actually what I would, let me just show you, I double click it. So this folder is what houses the content that I need. So by copying this straight into my community folder, here, copy community and then paste. Now when I fire up the sim, that scenery will work fine. Just as we take a look through my community folder, well, you'll notice that it's uh, it's a very busy place. There's not just custom sceneries. Here's the scenery from Orbix, but there's also aircraft. There's also uh, challenges. There's also add-ons, liveries, you name it. This is ooh, 53 gigs. Now your mileage may vary and it may be bigger, maybe smaller, but that's 53 gigs of content. Um, I'd like to show you a little comparison that I've done, which uh, will demonstrate the performance difference that having a large community folder ver has versus an empty community folder. Take a look. So that's quite a significant difference in performance of uh, the sim boot up time between having an empty community folder and having a kind of a busy community folder of 53 gigs worth a minute 30 in the difference for even for you experienced simmers you might be interested in this wouldn't it be great if there was a way for you to take out of your community folder the stuff that you weren't planning to use maybe into a different folder um, you know that you have beside it and only pop in when you need it you know the sceneries the aircraft etc that you plan to use so if you're flying ga in the us why would you have airliners in your community folder or why would you have european scenery in your community folder when you're just not going to use it wouldn't it be great if there's some way you could house it in one folder and then only when you need it pop it into your community folder well, there is, and I actually did a video on it uh, last February, and there's a tool called MSFS Add-ons Linker, and I'll be sure to leave a link for this video uh, in the description below. Literally, at the click of a radio box, you're able to enable or disable scenery coming in or coming out of your community folder. It's pretty, pretty handy. So be sure to check that out. Folks, that's it for now. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and thanks so much indeed for watching. And if you've liked this video, please do give it a like or a thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. And just a gentle reminder that Tutor Murphy himself, of course, streams every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 1900 Zulu on Twitch. Uh, it'd be great to see you there. Thanks so much again for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, until the next time. Take care, everybody.